Hey guys, it's Madame Wario. Welcome back to more Pokemon Gold in Let's Play Pokemon Gold. I forgot the title. Oh well. We are on our way back to our hometown to visit Prof Elm uh, to get the results on this egg, which turned out to be Togepi, which I taught Flash to. So we can now go in Dark Cave. I could have taught Flash to Bellsprout. I didn't realize that until later, but it didn't matter anyway because we didn't end up going in Dark Cave last episode. So... Yes, we're going to talk to Prof Elm. Elm, Mandem, you look great. Thanks. What? That Pokemon, the egg hatched, so Pokemon are born from eggs! No, perhaps not all Pokemon are. Wow, there's still a lot of research to be done. Thanks, Mandem. You're helping unravel Pokemon mysteries for us. I want you to have this as a token of our appreciation. Mandem received the of the, the Everstone. Man to put the Everstone in the item pocket. The Everstone um, keeps a Pokemon from evolving. Um, so say you want Pikachu to stay Pikachu forever, just like in the anime series, you would give Pikachu an Everstone. Actually, I think P doesn't Pikachu evolve using something? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm pikachu it out at this point, but... Yeah, for example, Pidgey, if you get Pidgey at Everstone, she'll always be a Pidgey. I know that one for a fact. Um, I'm just having a blank. I just blank out all the time. I'm just a complete doof. Don't, you know, disregard my weirdness at times. Uh, dang it, Mom, why haven't you bought us any gifts yet? Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna make our way, well, I guess I'm gonna make my way back to where we were because that was freaking annoying to come all the way down here and that was it so um yeah i'll see you guys in a second Okay, you guys, I am officially back, and my god, I got lost like seven times on the way back from my hometown, so, um, anyway, we're gonna check out Dark Cave. As I showed off briefly, um, I caught a Sentret on the way here and named it Tanuki, so, yay for new Pokemon named fun stuff from games. Um, a blinding flash lights the area! Okay, so now we can officially see Dark Cave, um, which we haven't been in any caves yet, and caves are actually my least favorite part of the game entirely, um, but you know, it's alright. We can deal with it for now. Uh, it's not really that they're difficult, it's just that they're tedious and easy to get lost in in some cases, so that's why I find a huge annoyance in caves most days. Um, but yeah, we're gonna make our way through this one. Ooh, a Dunsparce appeared. What a weird looking thing. Um, now I'm gonna address some things that other people have brought up in the comments. Um, one being that I never use anybody but Warix. <laughs> um, some of you have been asking to see um, other Pokemon other than my original starter Pokemon, my number one Pokemon. And I'm not going to say that, you know, I'm not going to show off everyone unnecessarily, but I will say that the way I play this game is, like, insanely weird with strategy because I never play in a way that makes sense by um, making all my Pokemon really good. I usually have, like, the one that's, like, level 100 and the rest are, like, level 20. <laughs> So that is something that I tend to do, um, and so I apologize for that, for, you know, not showing off other Pokemon more, but I really like to get my starter trained way, way, way up there and then, you know, kind of just use experience share on the others to get them to a decent level. It's kind of a wonky way to play the game, but it's literally how, oh, for God's sake, you've got to be kidding me. Um, it's literally how I play the game. So,
so yeah, I apologize for not showing off, um, not showing off other Pokemon more. I know that later I probably will a bit more, um, but as of right now, it's just like, oh, uh, you know, I might as well work on Morix. So yeah, I apologize for anybody who's disappointed by that. Anyway, while we're making our way through this cave again, because I jumped too far, um, I wanted to talk about um, one of the two new games I just bought, and I'll probably be talking about these on my website too, but um, one being Funky Barn 3D. Love it. It's a brand new game that I've been, you know, anticipating for a really, really long time now. Um, weirdly, I don't know why I was so excited about this game, but it was just like, oh my god, it looks so cute! Because it really is so cute in person, too. Um, it's a lot like Viva Pinata, and by the way I've described it to other people, um, what they've said about it is it sounds a lot like Harvest Moon, too, to an extent. But it's a great game. Um, it's a great, like, relaxation game. I know that sounds weird. But it's true, it's one of those games where you're just like, uh, oh, I just need a break, so I'm gonna play that, because that'll take my mind off everything else that I'm thinking about. Um, so yeah, it's a great game in that regard, and it's, it is a lot of fun, it's pretty dang addictive though. Um, okay, anyway, before I move on, that was Dark Cave, we obviously can't go any farther in it until we have Surf or Rock Smash, so, um, yeah, so now we know that is not the way we have to go. So yay for discoveries. But anyway, that's Dark Cave. Teaser trailer. Um, we've officially been in our first cave, though. Anyway, what else was I going to say with that? I don't know. I don't know too much sometimes. I think I was actually done talking about Funky Barn, though. Next, I want to talk about um, the newest um, of DS, 3DS games that I just bought. And I caved in. This is a game that I was like, oh no, I'm probably not going to get it. And then I ended up seeing like all this hype about it, and all my friends were getting it, and um, it just looked really awesome from reviews I had looked up, and I'd read all these articles on it, and I was like, oh, what the F, I just got to get this game. So, um... I bought Kid Icarus uh, for 3DS, and I love it. It is a gorgeous game. Like, no joke, the graphics are spot on, like, phenomenal for a 3DS game. Like, they're just so pretty, the way they have been designed. So, um, there's so many colors, and like, just the whole 3D aspect is like, really, really legit, the way it has been um, portrayed in the game. Um, the controls are pretty funky, but I actually like that about them. They're funkier than Funky Barnes controls. Um, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, like, they're kind of funky, but I actually like them because they're so different from any other game I've played on the 3DS or on a handheld system. So, um, I have to applaud the makers of that game, um, the maker of that game being, um the same person who made Super Smash Bros. Brawl, um, yeah, like, I really have to applaud the effort that you can tell went into that game, because just, even though the controls are kind of interesting to get used to, it's just, like, it's a really cool game to actually play. Um, so if you've thought about getting it but you're not sure, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it is a game that has fabulous music, too. Um, the music is just so beautiful. Everything about the game is so pretty. Uh, the graphics, the music, yay for Hopip! Um, everything about it, I just am like, oh my gosh! That is, oh, so legit. I, I just love the way it is. People tend to talk in the game non-stop, that is one thing, and I know I've seen that on uh, several reviews, but, um, yeah, like, I've seen that on several reviews of the game that, you know, people talk non-stop, but, you know, I, I don't really have a problem with that because I am a Let's Player and I talk non-stop during my <laughs> playing, um, of the game that I do on YouTube, so, 
I just worded that really weirdly, but you guys get what I'm saying. Like, I don't mind that at all. Plant vs. Zom. Yes. That can be your name. Um... And oh my god, here comes a battle! Um, so yeah, it's just, it's got a lot of, it, there's a lot of content in the game, and like the difficulty level is massively adjustable, so um, there's just a lot of things you can do with the game, um, and a lot of places you can go with the game. The multiplayer I tried out for the first time um, the other night with LittleFoo68 and Slim Kirby, we all three got on and played, and we were actually really terrible at it because we just haven't played the game enough yet any of us. I'd pro I've probably played the game most out of all of them, and even I was like, oh my god, I... Okay, I need to get the... Hang on what certain um, weapons and magic and everything else does. So, um, that was kind of where we were. But it was a lot of fun. You can tell it's a, definitely a fun multiplayer. So, it's not a game that you just play and be, and that's it. I can definitely see this game as something kind of like Mario Kart, where you, Mario Kart, well, you'll, ah, where you will go back and play it over and over again. Sorry, I'm trying to talk like really fast and it's not working. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I can definitely see that sort of potential in this game. Is that a Pokeball? Of course it is, because it's surrounded by all this grass. Mandem found a potion and put the potion in the item's pocket. Um, I'm glad that we are getting somewhere on this game. Uh-huh, yeah, and you know. Pardon, battle, I'm on the phone. Oh, alright, but make it fast. Anyway, is this Lass? I don't know if it is. It probably is not. Picnic or Liz? No. No one cares about Picnic or Liz. Nidoran! Um... Okay, this is the first Nidoran we've seen in the entire game, I believe. Female. Um, well, I don't think we've seen the male either, but it is the first Nidoran female that we've seen. Um, so yeah, anyway, yes, Kid Icarus Uprising for 3DS. Amazing game. Get it. You will love it if you love... Um, well, number one, if you like pretty stuff, you'll love it. Number two, if you like games that are... Kind of like battle... I don't know, it's kind of like a shooter game, and I'm not even like a big shooter game fan. That's like one of my least favorite genres, and I love this game, so... It reminds me a lot of Kingdom Hearts in a lot of aspects, and just the way it's designed is kind of Kingdom Hearts-like. Um... Oh man, bridge time. Sup, Fats? I love this music. Like, this music playing right here when you're getting ready for a battle. Um, anyway, yeah, like, it's, it reminds me a lot of Kingdom Hearts in many ways, many different ways. Um, but I guess it's just kind of the setup of the characters, like, the, the animation of the characters, number one. But I also think it has to do with just the fact that the battles are kind of similar with targeting enemies, um, not necessarily when you're shooting them, but like on the ground, because there's like flying portions of battling and going through levels, and then there's ground portions of flying and battling through levels. Or not flying, uh, ground portions of just battling. I'm trying to say the same thing 400 times. Um, but yeah, there's a flying portion and then just a ground portion, and the controls are different for each, so it's really cool because it's unique in both realms. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and battle all these guys for the remainder of the episode, by the way. So yes, Funky Barn 3D is a great, um, relaxation game if you need to get your mind off of anything you're thinking about, because that helps sometimes to do that. Um, <laughs> and so yeah, that's a great addictive game, and Kid Icarus is just a fabulously designed 3DS game. Um, so, I would highly re recommend that to anyone. Yes, I was unexpectedly satisfied, because that was a game, I, like I said, I was not planning on getting. I was just like, no, I don't know what all the hype is about. I don't see any interest in it. And now it's like one of my favorite games that I own for the 3DS. So, you know, it's great. Check them out. 
Uh, okay, let's see. Splash? Yeah, that's what your mom said. Ooh, mom's calling me. Hi, Mandom, how are you? I found a useful item shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, it's in your PC. You'll like it. Click. Yeah, your mom will buy you, like, quote unquote, useful items. Um, but half the time they're not even that useful, they're just annoying. Um, so, yeah, that's something she'll do, but the real awesomeness lies in the stuffed animals she buys you for your room, so keep that in mind. Why do you have a turban on, dude? You're fishing. Like, I don't understand this. Oh my god, a fish that can only use splash. How exciting. How does Gyarados evolve out of this guy? I didn't be I I used to not believe that. I was like, no, that's not right. My sister was like, yes, Gyarados evolves out of Magikarp. And I was like, there's no way. So I gave experience share to Magikarp for like forever. And when it evolved, I was pretty shocked. I was like, are you serious? Like, that's the weirdest thing in my life. Like, no joke. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think that's weird. But that's not the first thing in Pokemon that I think is weird, so... You know, whatever. Speaking of Pokemon, I still need to um, get farther into my Pokemon Black um, file because I played that on the plane on the way to PAX East and got some training done. And I played it for way longer than I thought I did, too. I played it for like two hours, and it felt like I played it for ten minutes, if that tells you anything about Pokemon, which I'm sure most of you already know that lovely factor about Pokemon. Um, but I'm starting to establish my team on there a little bit, just with like, I always have a flying type, and I always have like a, um, fighting type, and I'm starting to establish those, the flying type being Woobat, who has to be my favorite, probably one of my favorite Pokemons in the entire game. Um, did I just say Pokemons? Pokemon. <laughs> um, I'd say Oshawott is probably my favorite, but Woobat's probably second favorite, and then, um, you know, out of the ones I've seen, I know I haven't seen all of them, but... Just those those two made a big and Muna, those three made a big impact on me. I love all three of those. So yeah, bridge time is over. Um, can we get this Pokeball up here? Yes. Random found a great ball. I love the great balls. I love great balls, y'alls. Never say that. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, I guess I'll show off this battle and then conclude the episode, because I... I don't know. Because I feel like I could make this episode... I feel like I could make some episodes in particular a little longer, just because of the nature of the episode. And I've been talking a lot and sharing a lot of thoughts on different games and things for 3DS and Pokemon and whatnot, so... Um, and I wanted to talk more about comments... Um, but you know, I, I feel like I've looked at comments and I've addressed like the ones that really stuck out and now I'm just like, what was I gonna talk about? So, are you gonna battle? How would you like to have this? Tasty, nutritious, slow poke tail. Oh, here we go. Next episode, slow poke revealed. For you right now, just one million dollars. You want this? Yeah. I thought kids these days were loaded. Okay, yeah. Um, why don't we, because I know this guy up here probably wants to battle, and we didn't battle him. What is up here? Anything? No. It's just a trap so that this guy goes, ooh, I want to battle you. Alright, we'll end this episode with this battle because we're about to enter an entirely new realm of the game that many people feel, um, feel very much emotion towards. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, slow poke tails. Big one. It's a big, sad sob fest in the realm of Pokemon. So. Alright, Nidoran male. Yep, there's the male, by the way, we hadn't seen yet. Um, fun fact Nidoran, er, no, Nidoqueen. 
Yes, Nitto Queen. I wanted to say Nitto Queen female, but I think the Queen kind of got that across. Uh, <laughs> Nitto Queen was my first holographic Pokemon card when I was little. Very first holographic was Nitto Queen, so I was really excited about that. Um, except I was jealous of my sister still, because my sister, Madame Toadstool, her first holographic was Alakazam, and that was like the best one possible. So, yeah. Just saying. Alright, you guys. Well, this is... Uh, I think this about concludes Pokemon for the week, actually. For as weird as that is. Another week down with Pokemon. Again, keep in mind that um, throughout your commenting process on the three videos I post per week, I record... Um, I usually record all of my videos for Pokemon at the same time, like, in a loop. Um, so, you know, I, I won't... Ooh, I received an old rod. We can go fishing next time, too. Um, so, yeah, I won't see your comments and be able to respond to them till next week orally, but, you know, I'll do what I can. So, yeah, this has been Madame Wario with more Let's Play Pokemon Gold, and I'll see you guys next time for more Ash action, even though this isn't Ash. I don't know what I'm talking about. Peace out, pimps.